Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Meng. So now we are gonna visit this village with Asilo. So yeah, this is the uh, secret event of Asilo. You return to this village, and everyone becomes afraid, except for this stupid little girl who gives him berries. And this results in him getting three points of strength. How nice. It helps out his damage output a little bit. It's nice. Now, I actually went ahead and promoted Rotoban. Uh, warriors get B rank in bows, which means that they can use Brave Bows, which is very effective against the Vyverns. It is sad that I can't steal with him, but honestly, I'd rather have a good combat unit. I feel like money isn't going to be a huge issue from this point on. Um, so yeah, I'm going to uh, move Asalo down before I seize the castle. Now, of course, there is a... Uh, one thing that's a little bit annoying about this uh, about this map, um, there is a thief right here guarding this village. This village actually has a bargain, no, a thief ban, which allows the unit to steal money, which is a very powerful uh, item. You can use it to basically give a character unlimited money. Um, now there is a, a rogue here with a wing slayer. This is obviously meant to punish you if you try to, to attack him with a pegasus. Um, so you can't use any flying units to get over here. Not that we have any flying units, but this guy is actually really strong, as you can see. He actually has 24 speed. Um, and he hits really hard as well, so I'm gonna have to send someone really strong down there to deal with him. But yeah, I definitely want that thief band. But until uh, until we can get there, let's seize this castle. That's going to trigger an event. Ba -ba 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 Ramp. And that's going to proc the whole event with a uh, hawk and travance. Da 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 da. Ba 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 ba. Bye bye travance. And we are gonna get attacked by a buttload of Vivan riders, like a fucking million Vivan riders. Ba da ba da ba. And we get some civilians, which is always nice. We're definitely going to give them to the guys that haven't promoted yet. So I'm just going to skip these enemy faces because, as you can see, they take for fucking ever. And I don't know why, but the, the last quarter of Viver Knights actually do not move for whatever reason. So yeah, let's uh, get down there and rescue some civilians. Now, I might actually send Oifi down to rest to get the village. I'm actually not sure. It's probably going to have to be a mounted unit. Hmm. Yeah, I think, I think I'll actually send Oifi down. Now I'm just gonna have to see where Celise can go all the way down here. I definitely want to move Celise as far down as I possibly can. And I want to make sure I get... Um, I want to maximize this movement as much as I possibly can. I would prefer to get my bow users into the, th in, into the thick of things first. Now this is... Most of this part is actually road, so it's actually very easy to navigate. You get you get up down here a lot faster than you may think. Now this is where you normally get the secret event between uh, Celise and Julia. Sadly, we are not going to get that one right now. But this is usually how you get it. Uh, if they haven't fallen in love at this point, and, they, uh, and you haven't lost anyone in your army, if you have zero casualties, you can initiate a conversation between the two of them that grants them a lot of love points, enough to fall in love instantly, as well as giving mana five luck. It's a really cool conversation, actually. Too bad I won't get it. Bomb. And we're, of course, going to take a look at Hawk very soon, but first I'm going to make my way down here. Now, I don't think you can... No, unpromoted units cannot move across mountains, sadly. I wonder, maybe I should just... Yeah, I think I'm gonna speak to one of these civilians with Dimna, actually. I don't see why I wouldn't. He's unpromoted, so... I might do the same thing with Johan, actually. Speed, luck... Yeah, what level is Johan? Johan is level 14. Yeah, I think I'm gonna speak to one of the civilians with Johan as well. Give them to all my unpromoted units. da 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 Hit points, luck, and defense. Should I give one to Layla? Nah, I think she can level up fine on her own. I don't think she needs it, to be quite honest. I don't think Leaf, need Leaf needs it either. Anyone who can heal with a men's staff 
is fine because they can get so much experience just by healing. So it doesn't really matter. Ba, 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 Ra, da, 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 da. There are so many characters to move around in this game. Now, Asaelo is going to be very good. Obviously, he can one-shot most of the Wyverns, which is very helpful. Alright, I'll be skipping this enemy phase as always. Ba, ba, da, ba, because it's boring. Okay. So, we gotta be really careful. We, we, we ideally want to get to Hawk fast, uh, and it's actually gonna be quite difficult since Selif is uh, in a bit of a precarious situation right now. In fact, will we even be able to get to him at all? I am not sure if we will. So, what kind of weapons does these guys have? I mean, this is uh, Altena. She's not gonna attack, but Coulter is gonna attack, and he actually drops a Brave Sword. Anyway, let's take a look at Hawk, shall we? So here is Hawk. He is a Dark Bishop, and he has Major Loptier Holy Blood, and he comes with a Jormungandr Tome. Um, I dare say he's worse than his original self. His bases are a lot lower, due to the Dark Bishop having lower base stats than the Sage. Although, the Dark Bishop does have A in uh, all three anime types, as well as A in staves. Uh, unlike the Sage, that has B in everything. But as a Sage, he has Adept. And the ability to build light magic, which is stronger, but the German Gander Tome just isn't very good since it weighs so much. His speed ends up being very crap. Although he hits hard, he doesn't end up being a very good combat unit. Now, of course, his major love to your holy blood buffs his magic and rest growth quite a bit. And his growths aren't shabby. I mean, 60% magic and 50% speed is really good. So we'll see. He'll probably still be a really good unit. But I'll need to get Celise down here fast. Now, Aris is level 3. I don't think I want to... Um, I don't want to give civilians to anyone. Mana actually really needs experience. Um, I don't want to give uh, give civilians to anyone who uh, who can do well in the arena. And Aris is definitely one of those guys. Hit points. Wow, 2 points of magic. Nice. Holy shit. She's, she has 25 magic and she's a level 10 fire mage. How? That makes no sense. I don't think I want to give one to Asalo, but I might give one- Wow, Rodney is only level 5. Holy shit, she definitely needs... She definitely needs this experience. Two hit points, one strength, one magic, one skill, one speed, one defense. She probably also needs some cash, now that I think about it. Alright, so we want to give one to Ahmed, I think we want to give one to Ahmed. Even though he can clear the arena pretty reliably, I would love for him to become a fighter mage. And I think the last one should probably go to Linda. Two hit points, one skill, one luck, one rest. So Linda's pretty low level and she, uh, she could definitely need some help. Thank you so much, Noble Warrior. Now, chances are I might not have what it takes. I, I might not be able to uh, to recruit Hawk because I need everyone to be in uh, range to deal with the fucking uh, Wyverns. Now, did I actually remember to move Oifi? I hope I did. Yeah, because I need because I need everyone down here to fight them. It's actually going to be really tough. Especially considering they have increased growth rates and all. These guys are pretty tough in the vanilla game. It's a pretty heavy assault you're, uh, you're, you're suffering here. So you can see they're level 16. Look at this guy. This guy is scary as fuck with this Brave Sword. He's actually gonna fucking own me. Let's see, these guys have swords. Is there any possibility that I can just send... Johan over here with the health buff? How much damage do they do? 29? I think he should be fine. I mean, he has... He's 25 defense. Uh, yeah, I think I'm... As long as I stay out of this guy's range... I should be fine. And I can probably deal some nice damage to them as well. Alright, I just have to be make sure. 1, 2, 3... One, one, two, three. Okay, so I can... Uh, that spot is definitely what I want. One, two, three. Okay. 
Let's place you here with the house wealth. Let's give you some charisma bonuses. Two charisma bonuses should be fine. Alright, and since we have the all powerful uh, night ring, uh, let's just heal because healing is important. Whoop. We can do shit like, well, let's just wait until Tristan levels up, shall we? Hit points. Wow, good, good job, Tristan. We can do shit like this. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And let's get everyone down here. Now, I don't think, like, if if I send Celeste to talk, talk to Hawk right now, I don't think he can use his Night Ring to, to use his leftover movement. I'm pretty sure that ends his uh, turn completely, which is a little bit uh, sad. Meat face. Pop, 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 pop. Okay, they're not even moving. Okay, that's uh, that's great then. That okay, it's it's too scary to move Celise in here though. It's way too fucking scary to move Celise in here though. So I am definitely sending Finn down here. Wow, his Forsetti is actually about to break. Okay, so here's the deal. We can probably shoot down one of these guys. They have javelins, but they should die fairly easily. Uh. Good job, Dimna. We just gotta make sure they, they all won't fuck us over. Speed and luck. So let's just fuck off back here. Now, let's see. Johan, how much damage do they do to you? They're doing 42 damage. Ouch. That is scary. Holy shit. And he cannot move into the mountains either. That's harsh. But I should be able to do some damage to them. Huh. Now, will I be able to double them? Javelins are heavy. Yep. Not enough to kill them, though, sadly. Alright, so... Finn is gonna be nigh unhittable at this point, which is good. He might be able to fuck over a lot of those guys. Alright, let's see. Oifi, can you... Can you kill this guy? 41 damage, minus 15. Yeah, that should, that should be enough. I would prefer not to get hit, though. But yeah, we're definitely gonna save this village right here. Ugh. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, if he's level 23 now, for fuck's sake, he's so strong. Alright, so we can place Shannon right here, but do we want to do that, actually? That may not be a good idea at all. May not be a very good idea at, at all. Oh, no, sir. Although her avoidance is pretty insane. I think she could probably probably handle it, to be quite honest. Especially if we gave her some uh, charisma. And that is exactly what we're going to do. Um, okay, so who should we who should we set, send to deal with those guys? I mean, we can place... Layla into the mountains. The only problem is their hit rate is a little bit too powerful for that. I mean, she can probably take on a couple of these guys. Actually, no, she cannot. But we can place Asaelo right here. He can deal with at least one of them, right? Oh shit, that's um. That is actually not fantastic at all. I think I'm gonna have to send Celise. Shit. Okay, that's um, that is not fantastic. I kind of had hoped that. I kind of hoped that Celise would be able to retreat back, but I guess I overestimated his movements. I suppose I did indeed overestimate his movements. One, two, three, four. What's his movement like? Eight. So now we definitely gotta gotta fuck off from this. Um, forty move or forty avoid, thirty-two avoid. Hmm. 
I think I'm actually fine. If I if I go up into the mountains, I think I should be fine. Especially if we bring Tristan, as well as Layla. But Layla's a little bit more dodgy since she uh, since she has very low hit points. But I mean, we could always rest someone if they die. We have the cash for that. It's not the biggest deal in the world, really. We just need we just need them to get aggressive and come in to attack us so we can pick them off. It's gonna be a tough battle nevertheless, but we gotta make sure Jan doesn't die though, because of course Jan's kinda important. If we lose Jan, she's not gonna be able to revive anyone else, which is problematic. Alright, let's go. Bring your worsts, Tracia squad. Now, some of these guys might actually go for Hawk, which is a little bit problematic. Okay, let's see. What, what's his hit rate like? Zero percent! Lovely. Lovely. It's just too bad Radin doesn't have the Brave Cern, which he would have won round on those guys without any issues at all. It's kind of weird. I thought the AI didn't like to go for... Uh... I guess the AI is a little bit random in its targeting, as we can see right here. Ba, ba, ba. And sometimes it attacks in melee, because it can, I suppose. Ah, 10% chance to hit. Ugh. It's all good. Iris is pretty underleveled, so he needs all the experience he can get. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, as you can see, very erratic in their attack patterns here. They just can't make up their mind. How should they attack him? I don't know. Although the boss might be scary. Oh, hi there. Another guy going for Radney. Good luck with that. It's sickening how much better the Brave Sword is compared to the Silver Sword. I'm definitely giving the Silver Sword uh, that the General drops to Radney. For sure. She Or the Brave Sword, I mean. I, I, it's just so good compared to all the other weapons in this game. Aside from the legendary weapons, obviously. Bom, bom, bom. Very surprised none of them went for Celise. Very surprised. Bom, 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 bom. This is the captain, I believe. Oh, shit. Oh. There we go. Down he goes. Bom, 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 bom. Hit points, strength, speed, and defense. Nice. 20 strength. This guy's gonna hit like a motherfucking truck. Alright, here comes Sultana. Oh, they're going for Hawk. That's not good. Yeah, I figured they would. Um, that's really not good. I hope not too many of them can go. Oh, never mind. This guy goes for Daisy. 38% chance to hit. Oh, no. Come on. Don't do that. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> I'm so used to that music playing. Eh? Wah, 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 wah. No! Don't! Ah! Blah. Blah. I'd really like that animation on the Overland map. I wonder if Hawk dies before I get a chance to recruit him. Um, will I still be able to rest him? Okay, he dodged that. I mean, his avoidance should be pretty good. Although I'm losing a lot of experience doing this, which kind of sucks. Oh, don't kill my Daisy. Come on, don't. No, 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 no. Okay, good. 0% chance dead. Uh, uh. Why are these guys so poor? I guess it's because they're from Southern Tracia. Fucking Southern Tracia, man. Alright, Finn. This guy clearly wants to die. I probably could have used my normal Elwyn Tome for this. The Versetti is actually about to break. Wow. Wow. Bum. Ba ba ba. Whoa. That's some nice experience you're getting there. Da 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 ba da ba da bum ba 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 
Man, these guys making me use may waste two uses of my Frasetti Tome every time they attack. Jug draw problems. Well, at least he's getting some experience. Now, where is the boss gonna go? Oh, okay. Does he actually have a ranged weapon? Ah! Holy fuck. That was nasty. And of course, now, you can actually attack Altena, you can get close enough to attack her, but uh, she has a wall around herself, but even if you attack her, she will just dodge whatever um, whatever weapons you throw at her. So this is Altena. I don't know why she's not a Pegasus Knight. She's supposed to be. Maybe she is when she comes up, maybe this is another version of her? I'm pretty sure Altena was supposed to be a Pegasus Knight, but I don't know. Beats me. Anyway, um, let's see. So we got the... we killed their commander, which is nice. Um, let's see if we can kill some more. Now we have to kill their commander this turn, or else we're gonna be in big trouble. Hit points, strength, and defense. Nice. Nice! Alright, so this guy got 25 hit points left. I'm pretty sure Layla can kill a full hit point guy. I just gotta make sure she won't die, and never mind. Yes, he has 0% hit. We'll be absolutely fine. Yeah, Layla does a shit ton of damage, and she probably quadruples him, so... She can murder this guy. No problem at all. Nice! Rever up! Hit points, skill. Lovely. Good job, Layla. You're doing well. Let's kill this guy. So yeah, ideally it would be actually best if we kill this guy with Radney, because Radney actually... Or, question is, do I want Radney to have the Brave Sword, or do I want her to have the Mistleton? I think maybe I want Femina to have the Mistleton, because I think she has lower growths. Might be a better idea, I don't know. Da, 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 da. I think for optimal experience gain, it's probably best to heal with the characters that can heal. And attack with the characters who can only attack, because there's so much experience to be gained from the men's stuff. God, the Mistleton hits so fucking hard. Alright. So I think, yeah, now that we have Rotoban, he can definitely take down these guys with his Brave Bow. Ugh. Bows are actually very good in this uh, Pick My Edit, so I don't regret promoting him at all. Da 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 da. So, I guess Dimna can get a little bit of cash. Yeah, probably. Let's let's shoot this guy down. There we go. Kaso! My friend would always translate their death quotes, and like 9 out of 10 times, it, would, oh, it was always Kaso! It's the only thing they could say. Alright, let's heal up uh, you. Da, 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 da. Whoop! Men's staff's so good. And then, of course, we'll uh, heal with Leaf. Whoop. I wonder, I think Daisy could probably kill one of these guys. Maybe she could steal their cash. This guy has zero cash left. I think I would prefer to steal their cash. Yep. To be a filthy little thief and steal their money. Yeah, in that case, I think I will visit this village with Femina, because she actually needs cash. If she's if she's to buy the mistleton, she needs cash. Level up. Two hit points, one luck. Nice. I think I'll actually just kill this guy with. You know what? Honestly, I don't need to waste money on the UFL when the Brave Bow gets the job done. In many cases, the Brave Bow will actually be better than the UFL. And much cheaper. It's not like you need defensive stats on an archer, right? Alright, let's see. Uh, we can definitely kill this guy. Oh no, no wait, no wait, we cannot. We definitely cannot. But I'm still gonna give this kill to you, though. 
But yeah, we'd, we'd need to kill the last guy with Finn, it would appear, because he's like in an impossible terrain. Now the boss down here, uh, Mr. Mykov. Wow, he's scary. He actually has a killer bow, which is very, very good. 100 hit. It's really fucking accurate. That's also a super good weapon to have. Of course, it sucks against flyers, because um, you crit automatically in this game against them anyway. But it's very good against anyone else, especially dodgy targets that you struggle hitting. Anyway, I'm gonna go down and risk this village now, and then I'm gonna pull the other dragon riders up to my location. I kind of like to send a, send one unit, one dodgy unit to deal with the squad, so I'll be right back. Oh, this guy dropped some Miracle Sword. Alright, so it's time to fight the last squad of Ballista and uh, Wyverns. I prefer to just pull the Wyverns by moving a really tanky unit down here, like for example, Johan. It is pretty easily done by just using the Hell Swath to your advantage. Now, of course, you can... If you want to, you can, for example, place Elise here to give him a little bit of extra void, which certainly doesn't hurt him. But he's gonna take some ballista shots. But most importantly, these guys are gonna come for him, and some of them are gonna hit him, but they're not really gonna be able to do much, although they will double him, and he did miss that, which kind of sucks. Now, he will double the javeliners. At least he should be able to double the javeliners. Ah, oh, one health. Are you kidding me? We just need to aggro them. Draw them out of the ballista range so we can kill them with someone else. There we go. Now, I gave the thief ring to mana. I figured she could use some extra cash to repair her wall flame. Um, she's not the best unit to put it on, but as I said, I kind of figured she needed the money. Now you can give you can give it to like a super powerful unit like Hawk, and just have Hawk like eliminate entire armies of units and just get infinite money, which is nice because it helps him to use expensive staves and such. Oh wow, really? Wee! Yeah, they're not gonna be able to hit him. Bup, bup. Ah, some of them are actually going for Johan. Oh wow, they are actually dealing some nice damage to him. Holy shit, that's not good. But not all of them attacked, so I guess we're fine. Ba, 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 ba. Now we gotta make sure that we stay within range of a few of them, or else they're probably just gonna retreat back to their castle and make our lives difficult, so that kinda sucks. Ba, 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 ba. Hit points, speed, and defense. It's the two stats he's the most likely. Uh, he's the most likely to level. Ba, 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 ba. I think I'm actually gonna put Tristan up up in here because uh, in the in the mountains his avoidance is actually pretty solid, and he has a fire sword which allows him to retaliate at range. So I am actually fine with this. Bum, 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 bum. Not even gonna dance. I'm just gonna bring them a little bit closer. Bum, 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 bum. There's a lot of guys to heal here. A lot of experience to be had. But there's no point in sending everyone down here because I'm not gonna use everyone. Spoiler alert. I'm just gonna stick back here. Bop, 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 bop. Some people are gonna try to take down the princess, and they're gonna fail. Dun, dun, dun. I don't even know what what his avoidance is like, but I, oh, what the hell? Did that just did that guy just come out of the castle? What the fuck? Do you guys see that? The castle just farted out a Vivern Rider. What the fuck? Two hit points. Nice one, Tristan. Bop, 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 bop. Wow, they really, really like Tristan. Holy shit, they actually hit him. Ah, that's not good. I actually considered giving the Thief Ring to Tristan, because he can use staves and whatnot, but... Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 Alright, let's uh, back off a little bit, I I'd say. 
We definitely want to use the um, we want to use the mountains as much as we can. I'm gonna use the wall flame now, not because I need the damage, but because I want the defensive stats on it. Besides, uh, now that she has the thief ring, she can kill units with the wall flame, and it will pay it for itself since they she will drain the thousand gold they have on them. It's gonna be a little bit more effective once enemy starts coming with a little bit of extra cash on them, but still. Now, I dare say we can have both the princesses in those mountains, as long as they give charisma to each other. I think we will be just fine. And if we can get Layla down here as well, that would be even better. Now, maybe we should just keep Celise here. I think that would be a good idea. Keep him in the mountains. And then we could have a Daisy over here. I'm just gonna form a, a wall of sorts. Ba, ba, ba. We definitely want... Oh no, fuck, did I just equip the Thoron? That was definitely not intentional. Definitely not intentional. Also gave um, Linda heal staff, so she can get a little bit of experience from healing, which I think she'll be happy for. All right, so this works. We've buffed everyone with uh, leadership, so I'd like to see how the Vyverns are going to deal with this. Ah, they're gonna keep attacking the princesses, but Tristan should be nigh unhittable right now. Oh, nice. Even critting. Good job. What the fuck? Yeah, they keep farting out Vyverns. I think it's until you kill... What the fuck? I think until you kill their commander, he's gonna keep doing that. That is actually really annoying. Oh my god, Sol 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 just got doubled. What the fuck? Every time they attack, another guy comes out. What what bullshit is this? Okay, this is this some sort of bug? <laughs> it's like they're multiplying. Oh my god. Okay, stop doubling my boy now, please. Da, 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 da. I've never seen this happen. I know that castles can spawn reinforcements if the commander retreats back to them, but I've never seen castles just blurt out enemy reinforcements like this. Also, lol, nice one. That's that's a first for me. Ba, 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 ba. Hit points, skill, defense. Alright, so who's the commander gonna go for? Tristan. Uh. Uh oh. Getting doubled. Scary, scary. He's gonna go down next turn, though. And the last guy doesn't even bother moving, because why the hell not? Because this guy dropped some miracles, so I guess Rotalban can take him down. I don't know who would... who could use a miracle sword. It's ladies only, so... I don't know. Who, who would benefit from a miracle sword in my army that's female? Hmm, maybe Jan? Yeah, Jan could probably use it. Although she does have her bolt sword. I actually don't know. I actually do not have uh, the faintest clue who could use that. Daisy has her Balmung. She already has prayer, so it's lost on her. Yeah, I guess maybe maybe Jan can use it in the arena to uh, to get some easy kills. Hit points, luck, and resistance. Good job. Mana is seriously under level. I need to get her up to Mage Knight level ASAP, because those stats are gonna be insane. Alright, so this this one here has a javelin. Uh, will I actually double? No, minus 8 speed. I'll actually be doubled. So let's not do that. Let's instead kill this guy. We have, par we have Paragons. So this is gonna be a very nice experience for Linda. 
This is your brain on acid. Ba 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 ba. Do 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 do. Hit points, magic. Cool. All right, one last guy remaining. Who should get the kill? I say Asaelo should get the kill because I like Asaelo. Ba 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 ba. There's just something extremely satisfying about the crit that doesn't kill, but still does a lot of damage. There's just something about that sound the brrr, that I really like. I don't know why. I've just always been a big fan. Hit points and luck. All right, I'm going to make my way to the boss now. Be right back. All right, so the time has come to take down my Kov. Uh, and I think I'm going to start off with Hawk. I brought my Charisma Squad. And with the Wind Tome, it should be pretty hard for Mykov to land a hit. Now, he has a killer bow, so it's nasty no matter who you stand up against him. Oh, crap. He actually doubles Hawk? What the fuck? Now, uh, this is... I forget. The killer bow is ridiculously light. It weighs like three or something stupid like that. Speed and res. Yeah, it weighs three. It's ridiculous. Anyway, we, we can actually shoot from the forest, which is kind of nice. Which, when buffed by all our charisma, dude, is actually pretty good. Of course, we do get doubled by this guy as well, because, of course, the, the extra growth rates makes them so ridiculously strong. I think we'll actually finish him off in style using the Val Flame. 86% chance to hit. Let's go, bitches! Tink! No, no tink. No tink today, the armor knight is gay. Glory to Tracia. For whatever reason, this guy has one leadership star. He's like the least competent leader in Tracia. Well, this is the guy they left in charge of the castle. Kirabo obtained. Alright, I think we're done. Yep, all the conversations are through. All the secret events have been done, and it is time to conquer Tracia, at least the northern part of Tracia. Such a different level. Ba 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 Yeah, that's what happens when you stand around and do nothing, Altena. Ba 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 Alright guys, you know what's coming next. It's a Trabanta! I am really looking forward to this shit. I hope you guys are too. As always, please consider leaving a like and a comment if you enjoyed this part. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.